Kathy Billion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today on Make It With Mod Podge, we are altering store-bought Valentine candy boxes with Mod Podge and paper and sequins and all sorts of fun embellishments. Oh yeah, we're gonna show you how to change those old kind of boring boxes into something super cool and creative. Now all of these are gonna have a little bit of a vintage vibe mm -hmm. because we like that old nostalgic look. Yeah. Do you remember years ago? Absolutely. The There's Mad Men boxes though? 100%. So some people don't know this, but we made oh, props yeah. behind the scenes and we made a whole bunch of these Valentine boxes for Mad the Men. Mad Men yeah. show. Now the boxes now are just kind of like plain and flat and don't have much on it, but the old ones had ribbons, yes. had fabric, had Very all sorts like of things. This. So much like this. And we want to kind of bring that back to you today. So we're going to show you the basic steps on how you add paper to a candy box. And in addition, we're going to show you how we're using the mega glitter and the sparkle formula to create just an extra little texture. Now this is the basics. And from there, you can add so much different stuff. We're also going to show you how to use mega glitter. Now this is the gold formula. You can see how shiny that is right there. Look at that. We're going to show you how to do that on a plain box. But let me show you right over here. We also did it on um, another box, but using the silver mega glitter right here. It's super um, shiny and sparkling. This is a great way and an easy way to transform one of those plain boxes into something like this. And if you're doing just the basic paper, like we're going to show you, you can add tons of different embellishments. You can see here, all we did was Mod Podge the paper in the back, but then we added trim and tool and flowers. And up here, we've got another one where, you know, all we did was Mod Podge the paper to the back, and then we added all these fun embellishments. So if you've got embellishments and things like that, a little bit of it, this is a great project for using up some of those scraps. This one, especially right here, we used Mod Podge, and we did all these gems using the red gems and pink gems, just because it's Valentine's Day. We uh, used that, and this one over here, we did the sequence kind of in the same way. This is uh, also using the Mod Podge and a bunch of sequins right on top of it. And it really, really alters these things into something kind of special and cool. It's We're gonna start with the sequin one, and it's very simple to do. I've got a baggie of sequins here, and these are all of our Valentine colors. And we're just going to work over a piece of paper. And I've got a small candy box, and for this, I'm using the gloss formula. I like to use the gloss when I'm working with sequins or rhinestones, because if it gets up onto the sequin or the rhinestone, like there's a little bit, you can't barely even see it, you won't see it because it's still shiny. So it's not gonna mat out your project. And for this, we're just going to apply our Mod Podge in a very thick fashion. You just kind of tap it on. So for this project, I'm just using Mod Podge as the glue, and um, it's pretty incredible. It really seals down. You wanna have a nice thick layer, just kinda tap it on. I'm not brushing it on, because that wouldn't be thick enough. You want it to be thick enough to grab all the little pieces and corners of the sequins. So tap it on. What's great about these boxes is you can find these boxes for very inexpensive also. These Oh yeah, this these, was a dollar candy box. This is a dollar <laughs> candy box. These are everywhere in in all different sizes too. So there you go. You can see how thick that is. And now all I really need to do is just sprinkle on the sequins. And I like to go all the way just sort of heavy, 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 because once it's dry, I tap off the extras. I'm gonna tap a few off while it's wet and hope for the best. But normally what I do is I sprinkle them all the way on and I've done these for holiday gift wrap. I've done this on um, Easter eggs, just doing, you know, this technique is really cute for this, but you can do it on any shape. Then I just go in with my finger and clean up that edge. You could use a toothpick if you wanted to, but I just use my finger. This also works great with beads. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of my favorites. We've yeah. done seed beads and crushed glass. So there, you just let it, let it dry. You can sort of tap off a few right now, but normally I wait until the very end, but I just wanna show you how much sticks on there. So then I'll just clean that edge up again. And once it's dry, 
it's going to be like this. And you can see it's just got tons of depth and texture. It's so cool. Very and pretty. One of my, we, what we forgot to talk about was that? when you're making these, you're giving it for the person to eat the chocolates, right? right? Yeah. But when you've created this beautiful box. You want to reuse it for something. You can have yeah. a secondary. So a lot of people are using the insides of the boxes like this and they're creating little like caddies or maybe like a little place where you can store your rings or earrings. So if you're making something like this for someone, you can also tell them like, keep it, you know? Tell us what you and, can use it for. And you can put your little trinkets. I know right. like Delilah and Sophie are already like, they collect those Lego friends people and yeah. they're like, oh, Perfect. they already want to put their Lego friends yeah. in there. Okay, let's move on. We're going to do some um, using mega glitter in gold. And I want to show you guys this. So pretty. It's the gold bottle here. And I just want to open this up and just show you the inside because you always got to show. This is loaded with gold glitter, you guys. And many that's why it's sizes. called That's why it's called the mega glitter. Yes, it's got different sizes in there. Um, and it really is mega glitter. It stands up to its name. Now, this is how these candy boxes kind of come. I mean, there's a couple dogs on there, kind of cute, right? But they're kind of flat and don't have much going on for Well, them. and I think a lot of them are very kid looking. They're very so kid they're, looking. a lot of them look, you know, they have like, they're not yeah. grown up looking. And the other thing is when you put the little extra oomph <laughs> into that, it really kind of shows you care, right? Of course. So. It's semi-handmade, right? It's semi-handmade. <laughs> so we got the structure and we're just embellishing on top of that. So here is your plain box. And what I did was, I simply, because I knew I was using gold, gold mega glitter, I just, with folk art gold here, I just painted on top of that. That just allows you to, so nothing can seep through. If anything does happen to pop through, you still have the gold base on the bottom here. And I'm simply going to take my gold mega glitter, you can see that, look at that, how beautiful it is. I'm going to show you a couple different techniques. The first one is, you can just kind of brush it. Now this, if you brush, and spread it out here. It's just gonna give you a really nice dusting of those gold flakes underneath. And this is where I, where I was telling you about base coat, coating it gold. So you got the base coat and then you have the gold flakes right on top. And you really can see the different sizes when you're doing this technique. There's ultra fine glitter in there and then a little bit thicker. And that's what really makes the mega glitter stand out. So there you go. So you could let this dry just like this and you could be done with it. Um, now, this one here that we've done, I wanna show you how you would actually make this completely solid. And that is as simple as adding a lot more of the mega glitter right on top. Now you kind of chunk it on and spread it out. This is gonna give you a very solid and thick coverage of the mega glitter. Now this looks all foggy, of course, and you can see the gold in there, but once it dries, it's going to dry, um, and all you're going to see is the glitter itself. So I'm not gonna do this whole box, but you can kind of, you get the idea what I'm doing. And here you go, and here's the final result. So you can let so that dry sparkly. for a couple, it's so sparkly. You can let that dry for a couple hours, and then of course, on top of this, you can do whatever you want. Did some heart um, trim here, we added, the wood embellishment here, and you can just layer and layer and layer on top of it, but the gold mega glitter is a very simple way to just cover uh, a very simple box. And again, like I said, right over here, if you wanna come in on this, Eddie, we can show using the silver, it's the exact same um, product. It's the Mod Podge silver mega glitter right there, and here's the base coat. I used the folk art silver, just the base coated, and then just added that right on top. And the one thing that's really cool about the Mega Glitter is that it is no flake. So if you're giving this as a gift, your recipient is not going to end up with glitter all over their face. That is true. <laughs> so you can rest assured if you're making these projects, you will be flake, glitter flake free. Flake free, free. <laughs> yes. So now I wanna show you just the basic step of applying a piece of paper to the box. And I've gone ahead and pre-cut my shape and I'm using, cause we were sort of going with this vintage theme, this kind of vintage wallpaper style paper. And I'm gonna use the gloss formula and we'll just put a nice coat on the back of the paper. And I'd like to make sure I get 
all those edges. So just apply that there. And then I will position it onto the candy box. And when I'm tracing the paper, I like to do it on the back side and I use a pencil so I can erase any marks. If you trace it on the right side, you may end up with a little pencil mark. And just kind of move that into position. And now for sealing it, it's really simple. You're just gonna go in and add a coat right onto the top. Very easy. Now remember guys, Valentine is coming. Oh yeah. So but you have time to make these for sure. For sure. And share this video if you like it. Some great ideas. And make sure you're tagging plaid crafts in your projects and tag Mod Podge so we can see what you're making. Yes, we want to see. So now I'm your all top boxes. coated down. I see one little spot where I'm getting an air bubble, so I'm just gonna press that out with my finger. Just go ahead and press that out. And then after I do that, I just go in and I make sure all my brush strokes are smooth and going in one direction. So now I wanna add some glitter. So I'm gonna use two different glitter formulas. I have the sparkle formula and I have the silver mega glitter. And for the sparkle formula, I like to use this round brush and just gonna dip in. Again, it looks um, white, but when it's dry, I hope you can see that on the pink flowers there, I've added the sparkle to the pink flowers. So hopefully we can catch the light with it. So that just creates a really light dusting and you can just go in and just sort of kind of swirl it around. I like using this round brush because it creates a little bit of highs and lows. So where it's real thick there, you're gonna get more glitter look and then you can spread it out and get a thinner look. Just go in and sort of add that around wherever you want. You can let the paper do all the work for you. You can just add it to wherever the flowers are. You don't even have to think about it. That's my kind of craft, right? Yes, <laughs> mine too. Let the paper let do the, paper the work. That's right. <laughs> Make it easy for yourself. So that's how you add it if you wanna just add a little bit of highlights to something. And if you want to do the border like we have here, that's super easy too. Again, we're calling these like no flake Valentine crafts because all of this glitter is sealed in the Mod Podge. So if you're giving this away, no one's gonna get glitter everywhere. So for this edging technique, I like to use a flat brush like this. And you could use a you know one inch, half inch, three quarter, it doesn't matter, whatever you feel comfortable with. And it's very easy. I won't go around the whole box because that's kind of boring, but you just go and you just kiss the edge. Just go in and just give a little tap like that. Move this out of the way. And you don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to be perfect, you would wait for everything to dry and you would tape it off with some of that blue tape. But I like the idea that this is really handmade and from the heart. You're no pun spinning. intended. Yeah, right? <laughs> From the hard candy box aisle. There you go. So very simple. And work your way all the way around. That's it, all the yeah. way around. Let's talk about the embellishments on top of these cats. Yeah, I done. just want to show really quick what it looks like when it's dry though. Yeah. So that is when it's dry, you get that nice silvery edge. And it's really that simple. So if you're, you know, got gifts for coworkers and stuff like this, you can take a dollar fifty box of chocolates and really make it look pretty cool. Yeah, and the embellishments that you guys might have at home, use yes. those up. Like here, we got the doilies going on, um, the heart doilies. You can even make your own heart doilies. We got the paper flowers. We had some red ribbon laying around. Went straight across there. And on this one, we didn't really get to talk about it, but this rhinestone one was done the same way that we did our sequin one. So we did that real thick layer of Mod Podge, and then we just set into it the rhinestones. So that wasn't any kind of gem glue. All that it is the moss, the moss, the gloss Mod Podge to glue down all those gems. And this one reminds me of our Mad Men days. Yes. <laughs> this one right here. All layered up. The more the better is what I say. I know. I love how this turned out. And, you know, even little scraps of tool or whatever you have, you just get your paper down with your Mod Podge, and then you can really get creative in adding any of your top embellishments. Well, too bad there's no chocolate in those <laughs> any, <laughs> anymore. He ate all the candy. We what? can't even give these away. <laughs> 
2020 is here. <laughs> he it, said he was time. going on a diet. Yeah, well, He's like, oh, I'm going to start my diet today. And I'm like, we're doing the candy boxes today. I'm starting my diet after <laughs> this is done. There you go. Well, thank you all for joining us today. We hope that you have a happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. And uh, be sure to share, like, follow Plaid Crafts. We want to see everything you made. Hashtag Plaid Crafts, hashtag Mod Podge. You could be featured on Fan Friday. There you go. <laughs> see you next time. Did you save me I any chocolates? I ate them all. I couldn't <laughs> help it.